The National Cyber Security Center have alerted that uh, these Russian intelligence agencies have been able to intrude into systems and are effectively scanning those systems as to looking for vulnerabilities. So it's important that we put out this advisory. This is ongoing. It's why the mitigation advice uh, is there in terms of firms and businesses taking the steps that the NCSC has set out. But equally, why we have been able, through our work with international partners as well, to have this confidence in attribution, to be able to say that it's with confidence that it's Russian intelligence agencies that have been behind this, and therefore it underlines that sense of vigilance, uh, ensuring that those organizations that are involved in this COVID response equally are on their guard, and equally to say to Russia as well, we have detected this, we can see what's going on here, and therefore to make the firm statements that we have. I think it's really important that we have called this out, that we have shown that this has been linked to Russian intelligence agencies. It's completely unacceptable for Russia to act in this way, to say that they apply by the rules-based arrangements, that they're doing all these other steps, and at the very same time to be taking actions like this. That's why it's right to call it out. That's why equally the National Cyber Security Center have given detailed advice for those involved in protecting systems to guard against this and to mitigate its effect. The Prime Minister will be speaking uh, later today in terms of the next chapter in the roadmap, preparing for the winter with an announcement of three billion pounds of additional funding for our NHS to be ready for the months ahead, as well as setting out the next stages on our recovery. Obviously, we want to see this careful return to normal life as much as we possibly can do, whilst equally recognising and respecting the health needs, the public health requirements, the guidance and COVID safe environments. And therefore, how employers can uh, seek to provide that level of assurance for their employees, but ultimately recognising that decisions on return to work and working arrangements are firmly for employers and their workers within their businesses.